You know when an Injustice fan sees that Injustice 2 is coming out, he's gonna talk about it. Which is funny because when we got the first, the, the reveal trailer for Injustice 2, a bunch of people were like, talk about it! And then like the next day was E3 and then people asked, started asking me about other stuff. So much to do videos on, so little time, so you kind of have to pick and choose. I'm picking Injustice 2, I guess. So Injustice Gods Among Us was a fighting game created by the creators of Mortal Kombat, but they were all DC characters in this fighting game. It has some solid DC comic fan service and a cool story within the campaign, so that was actually really cool. And I figured there would be an Injustice 2, but there are interesting things in here. Some things I like, some things I'm concerned about, and I don't know if they're going to actually be realities, so let's just do a video about it. If you don't know what's fact, why not just do a video about it? That's how you get your justification. In the reveal trailer, we saw the characters started getting, like, their suits would turn into armor and things were getting upgraded. Their appearances kept changing, and I guess that's the whole mechanic in this game, is that you unlock gear and you can outfit your fighter with said gear. I would guess it's really customizable. It's like someone might have the same cape that you have or the same S, but it's not gonna have the same gauntlet. I guess there's gonna be a lot of unlocks to unlock in Injustice 2, and the boast that they're selling us on is they're like, well, odds are when you fight someone online, their Aquaman's gonna look different than your Aquaman. So right there it says there's going to be a lot of unlocks, which is great! I love the fact that this appears like they're concentrating on unlocks in the game rather than you DLC. Using, in a way, to, you know, like motivate you, like, I wanna unlock that thing! However, as cool as it is in the concept of, holy crap, you can unlock somebody, like, why stop playing? the game you're gonna want to do those logistics that get you the, the new Superman belts or the Batman I probably should have said belt for Batman oh that's Superman utility belt you know they're gonna have DLC packs where it's like ah oh, it's an exclusive flash symbol for his chest so you can only get through the DLC or if you pre-ordered the game at your local game store you're gonna get some exclusive unlocks there too however it is great to have unlocks in a fighting game it's just a big part about what makes fighting games fun for me the whole gear system that they're going for is actually really cool for a fighting game I like the fact that it's like RPG elements trickling into a fighting game. Visually customizable as well as, you know, fighting style customizable. Because they also said it's not just gonna be stat buffs and defense and whatnot, it's gonna unlock different moves for you. So your Superman is going to fight differently than someone else's Superman online. It's like the customization of the three fighting styles in Mortal Kombat X times a lot more. Great possibilities there as long as it's executed well. But the thing about that is as cool as it is to be able to outfit your Superman or your Aquaman or your Flash to what you want him to look like, I personally like playing as the comic book characters from the comic book novelties. You know, in Justice 1 was like, alright, that's the Arkham City Joker skin, or the Killing Joke Joker, or the Tourist Joker from the Killing Joke. You know, I like being able to play as characters from the story arcs in the comic books that they're from. Now I imagine they're gonna have elements of it, like, all right, here's the Killing Joke Joker hat. You might get a hat, he might be able to have a camera accessory, he might have a Hawaiian shirt. But I feel like in the end, if he was up against the Killing Joke Joker, you would notice a difference, you know? It'd be like in City of Villains when people were like, I made Shredder in City of Villains! For those of you who don't remember City of Villains, it was an MMO with superheroes and supervillains. But you know, someone makes Shredder, and it was a really cool Shredder for having the gear you had, but it wasn't actually screen accurate to Shredder. I don't want to see them compromise the ability to have really cool novelty skins from comic book arcs and stories for having their own gear that won't actually do that for you. They do have personalized dialogue between the two characters that are going to fight like Mortal Kombat X. I thought that was pretty cool. The end cards, like the victory clips, where like if Batman wins the fight, then Batman will do something cool and be like, Batman wins. But in all of the ones I saw in the gameplay trailer, they looked kind of boring. Example, Batman like throws batarangs at the screen and they all freeze and go slow-mo, which is a cool pose in and of itself as a possibility. But what's cooler, that or an Injustice 1 where Batman was like, stay down. And he's prowling the rooftops of Gotham now. I don't know, I'm just saying, of the two of them, I feel like prowling the rooftops of Gotham a little cooler than throwing batarangs at the camera. A couple things I want, well, alright, first of all guys, John Constantine. I've been pining for him since Injustice 1. Let's just have him. I do like the character customization, as long as we also have the alternate skins from the novelty of the comic book stories that we actually know and love, so we can have that nostalgia trip and that fan service for us. So those are my thoughts on Injustice 2 as it stands now. Again, this is just what I assess from a couple things that Ed Boon and company said and from the gameplay trailer and the reveal trailer. Won't know until some months down the road where they actually break down exactly how all of this works and I definitely won't know until I play the game. In the end guys, I am excited for Injustice 2 for sure. I mean, other than the little gripes that are ultimately probably just the baseless paranoias of a nerd rambling on YouTube. They're doing something seemingly very cool with Injustice Injustice 2 and I want to see it in action. Funny thing is in the reveal trailer for Injustice 2, there was a narrator who was Brian Cranston, so people were like, whoa, is Brian Cranston in this game? Who's he playing? Little
known fact, Brian Cranston played Jim Gordon in Batman Year One, so is he gonna be Jim Gordon? Can Jim Gordon really hold his own in Injustice? Well, if J.K. Simmons, who plays the new Jim Gordon in the new movies, is any indication, yes, Jim Gordon can hold his own in Injustice. Did you see that shit? Oh my god, old guy is super inspiring me to work out right now. So Injustice 2, have you seen what they have so far? And what do you think about what you've seen? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.